this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is D Channel Guns coming to another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all good information. Appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the two-way community. And like I said before, y'all are the star people. I'm just a mess. I'm just the average citizen trying to uphold the Constitution and fit the Second Amendment. So with that said, we need to get out and vote, people. We need to keep um, doing everything that we're doing and everything because we already know what's going on. Selection season. And, you know, they're coming at us in all directions. So we need to get out and vote to preserve the Second Amendment. So that is the goal over here. Now, with that said, we're going to talk about when it comes to ammo. I'm talking about when it comes to ammo, I'm talking about a lot of people are ordering it online. Now, when you're ordering um, ammo online, it has to come in the mail. And right now, the mail system has pretty much been very difficult for a lot of manufacturers, a lot of gun shops. Until my lot of business, a lot of citizens and stuff when you're ordering mail, and a huge problem been happened. And you know, ammo theft has increased since we dealt with this ammo shortage and stuff. Ammo theft has increased. I'm talking about you have people targeting the ammo in vehicles, police cars, uh, businesses. I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about people stealing ammo out of the gun shop. I'm talking about, um, I heard uh, you know, gun shops telling me that they're finding ammo that's on the shelves that people had done took rounds and stuff out of. So ammo theft has increased since this shortage and stuff has got bad. So with that said, there's a lot of complaints out there. I'm to my, when it comes to UPS and FedEx, but I've been seeing a lot of complaints with FedEx. I know UPS got some out there, but you having people who work for these facilities at FedEx and UPS and stuff, you having these people who are caught on to this ammo stuff and they're actually stealing the ammo out of the package. They're stealing and wrapping the package back up and still continue to, to keep the mail going to this final destination. Now, what is happening? The people who have ordered the ammo and stuff and everything, when they get it and they open their package, they're starting to find that their ammo is missing or some of it is gone. So there's a lot of reports out there that you know when people are receiving the ammo, one, the, one thing that is happening, people get this right here when they get they get the ammo. Now they open the ammo box and stuff up. They pull the the thing out. There's no ammo in it. So you're having people who are ordering ammo. There's nothing in it. Now they didn't send it from the place that you ordered from like that. It had ammo in it. But you having people who's in the mail system that is stealing ammo, and it, and that is pretty much a huge problem right now. I'm talking about a lot of people not talking about it. You hear certain reports here and there. I'm seeing it over different platforms and stuff. But they're they're opening their box of ammo, and I'm seeing this. I have seen many videos. People open their package. I'm talking about, and there's no and the ammo is missing in the box. That is a huge problem. So now you got the people who are stealing your mail. So now you got a bigger problem to worry about. It's not on your shelves. The your, your retailer don't have it. But, you know, when you do order it or you do get it online, guess what? Someone is stealing it before you get it. So, a second thing is happening. You're having people who, you know, they get their ammo and some of the ammo is missing. So, they're not getting a full, a full case. They're getting half a case. So, they're taking the loose ammo out and everything. So... That's out to my. That is what's pretty much been going on. That's what I'm being seen. I've been seeing and everything, and these facilities, UPS, FedEx, and stuff. Yeah, you got your tracking and stuff like that. But the problem is, they're going inside. And I'm, to my, I seen a video where the boxes of ammo was put was pretty empty. Out to my, it, if the person picked the box up, it was empty. Um, to my, well, this can't be. You know, how how can this be ammo and this, this light? And they open it up and there's empty boxes in there. So the people at the mail facility or the distribution places, or whatever, they took the ammo out and wrapped it back up and still sent it um, to its destination. So now you have the gun owner or the business or whatever have to file a claim of theft, you know, a theft of this ammo and everything. And all that doing is delaying everything. It's delaying the process for them having ammo for first-time buyers, you know, people who's trying to come get ammo in the store. So that is another problem. That is a problem that a lot of businesses, the reason why their, their truck ammo is getting shortage, is getting smaller because of the theft at the mail facility. And like I said before, it's, it's so many things that is affecting your ammo right now. 
So, you know, I want to kind of talk about that and everything. So people um, kind of pay attention to your ammo and stuff like that when you get it and everything and make sure that you have the insurance and stuff because if something happened, you can file a claim and stuff like that. You probably want to get um, a higher uh, insurance on whatever you're getting and stuff depends on how much ammo because ammo had gone up. So you, you might not want to take that basic ammo insurance, that the basic coverage they have on the package. You might want to add a little bit more to it depends on how much ammo and stuff that you you're having to cover yourself because like I said right now we're dealing with so much um, when it comes to shipping and stuff um, guns have been stolen in shipping so um, to my, we, we have a huge theft problem when it comes to your, um, your mail and stuff like that and the um, mailing companies and whatever so like I said inside employees at the distribution centers and mail facilities are stealing people ammo firearms and everything you see the media you see a lot of reports they've been you know being caught and arrested so these facilities need to step up their security inside the building, especially when you're dealing with firearms and ammo and stuff. They need to have more security on these type things or whatever. Considering all the laws and stuff that we have as gun owners, I'm not saying they need more laws for the mail facility, but they need to take more proper steps in place to make sure that you know they can stop having these employees and stuff stealing stuff. They need, might need to scream more or do some more stuff, but this is what's going on when it comes to your ammo and firearms people. So this is DC Channel Guns. And I catch on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.